so far we have discussed the mean value of a variable uh, u and now in order to give a better statistical description uh, we would like to know uh, the extent to which this uh, variable values will be distributed about the mean value because it is uh, inevitable that we will have uh, fluctuations around the mean value at equilibrium uh, remember from our previous discussion so uh, we are after a measure of extent a measure of the extent of the distribution about the mean value. So the first candidate uh, you can think of is uh, delta u, which is defined as the difference between the value of u minus the mean value of u. So this is the definition of delta u. And uh, this is called deviation. So this is the deviation of u from the mean value u bar. Okay. Uh, but this is for a, a given u value that we measure, we can find its deviation from the mean value. But if I want to know the average behavior uh, for this extent of the distribution about the mean value, I would try to take the average of the deviation. So if I take the average of the deviation, I would get u bar minus u bar because u bar is just a number so I have u values distributed around u bar and now if I take the average of this equation I will get zero so therefore if you try to take the average of the deviation you will not get a useful uh, answer so it's not a useful uh, measure of this extent of the distribution around the mean value. So how can we fix this uh, zeroing problem? Uh, instead, we're going to use the square of the deviation. Uh, we define uh, what we call a dispersion or uh, the same thing, variance. So what is dispersion or variance? It is the square of the deviation average value. So that's by definition uh, going through all possible u values, probability of uh, u having a value u sub r, delta u r, squared. So what is delta u r? The deviation of the value u r from the mean u bar. Right? So this is basically um, um, a function of u we are looking at. So we're trying to find uh, the square of this function. So uh, delta u um, squared would be u minus u bar squared which is another function of uh, u because u bar is just a number and then we're looking for delta u squared average that's the average value of this function g of u and that's by definition probability of having a value u sub r multiplied by delta u r squared so this is basically equivalent to saying I'm looking at the probability 
r g of u sub r which is the average value g of u so that's going to be equal to sum over r from 1 to alpha so you can take values um, uh, let me remind you here u1 u2 all the way up to u alpha and therefore we have r can take values 1 2 all the way up to alpha so that's going to be probability of having a value u sub r u sub r minus u bar squared so that is delta u squared average so this is what we call the variance or dispersion of uh, u. Now, uh, what I would like you to notice is that because uh, delta u uh, average is always equal to zero, that's the deviation, uh, we can note here that uh, delta u square average is going to be a number that is greater or equal to zero and it's only going to be zero if for all u sub r I have u is equal to u bar so that means there is no uh, distribution about the mean value then I will have the variance to be uh, zero only for this condition otherwise it's going to be greater than zero there is one problem here though so if you look at the dimension of this quantity what is the dimension of uh, the variance delta u square bar well I have uh, the square of uh, u minus uh, some number so it's going to be dimension wise uh, dimension of u squared so that's a problem because I want to know the distribution about the mean value with a linear measure of the spread uh, so for a linear uh, measure of the spread spread of u values around the mean value we're going to define the standard deviation okay what is standard deviation so basically my task is now to fix uh, this dimension problem uh, the average value of the delta u squared average value of deviation squared that is uh, dispersion or variance has the wrong unit it's the it has the unit of u squared so I define standard deviation I show standard deviation with a delta tilde delta u tilde u is defined as square root of the variance okay so this is uh, the definition uh, now what is important here is that uh, you need to keep track of the the order with which the operations are performed so going from top to bottom uh, we, we see that we're taking a square root a mean and a square so this is called also RMS root mean square operation and what does it physically mean uh, most values of u lie uh, within this range within the range Uh, u bar average value ensemble average plus or minus the standard deviation so that's what it means okay 
and that does have uh, the dimension of uh, the standard deviation of u is the dimension of u so this dimension problem has been fixed okay so uh, we get a statistical description we calculate the mean value remember the way we do it we multiply each possible value of u with its probability and add them up that gives us the mean value or the ensemble average and then uh, we can calculate its uh, standard deviation that is done by calculating the deviation squared uh, taking the average and then the root to the, to the power one half, then you find that your most u values will be in this range, u bar plus or minus a standard deviation. However, this does not give you a complete statistical description. So uh, let's put a remark here. Um, we have only partial information uh, given by this complete if I want a complete statistical description what I need to know is the following all possible values of u u1 what is the probability of having a value uh, u1 u2 what is the probability of having a value u2 all the way up to u alpha what is the probability of having a value u alpha so we need to list all possible values all possible u values and corresponding probabilities So this is the complete statistical description. Uh, so we have u sub r, p sub r pairs for all r values. Uh, however, if you give uh, the alternative information uh, using the average value and uh, the standard deviation so if you have this information mean value u bar and uh, you know the standard deviation which is the square root of the dispersion um, that is delta tilde u you will have partial information about the distribution basically you get the essence of what is going on in the distribution of the values partial information about the distribution we're going to give a concrete example in the next video using an ideal spin system we will calculate the mean value and standard deviation and then we will see what we get for n equals capital n equals four in total uh, number of spins uh, of four in an ideal spin system